Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video. We are about to check out a kit. If you want to become a drone pilot, all you got to do is buy this one kit. Let's just say you're a beginner, you got nothing, no goggles, no radio, no nothing. You buy this one little guy right here and you are off to the sky. Let's go. All right, so you've seen some videos, you see what FPV is, you see the pilots flying around, having a good time, doing some crazy sick stuff, and you want to dive in, you want to be a part of, you want to get yourself a drone, you want to get some goggles, and you want to shred some clouds. Well, I can tell you where to start, or I can send you to a hundred videos that are going to walk you through a bunch of stuff that'll finally get you in the air about $2,000 later. Or you can buy something just like this and you got everything you need all in one box. If you don't know nothing about FPV, it can be very intimidating. You've got beta flight, you've got different modes, you've got angles, your switches, your binding, your wiring. I mean, this stuff gets pretty in depth. If you want to get into that, that's fantastic. That's what this is all about. That's what FPV is all about. But you need a base. You need to start somewhere. And today, I want to find out if that's what this is. So let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. And inside, we've got ourselves a really nice... Ooh, what is that? Okay, looks like we got... Some oh okay we're gonna we're gonna put that to the side right now so you've got a very nice traveling case and this is nice because you want to head out to the field gone you see what I'm saying so that's nice you got everything you need in one nice little case if you accumulate other stuff screwdrivers wire cutters prop removal tool all these things will fit right in here it's lightweight it's nice and you can customize it if you'd like to you've got some straps on the back if you want to put some stuff or if you just want to hook up the shoulder strap and then you can throw this guy over your shoulder and go so that's really nice so let's actually see what comes inside because what good is the case if we don't like what's inside opening it up ooh, very nice so we've got velcro partitions that means you can change the size of this if you want to pull out your goggles you've got your quadcopter and you've got your radio and you can pull these out and resize them if you want to and carry different stuff in here you may find yourself with a much bigger bag one day and this would still make a great lipo carrying bag you've also got a zipper up here where you can put some stuff if you need to and it looks like we got tons of goodies let's pull them out and you've got a compartment on this side you've got a compartment on this side i mean this is a nice little FPV lunchbox you can do a lot of things all right so before we get too far ahead of ourselves let's see what actually comes with this thing and because this stuff's important especially if you're a beginner and you don't know what you're working with so in this bag right here we've got batterias so you've got one two three and four batteries look at that that's nice and these are 530 milliamp hour batteries if you're not familiar with that because you don't know what those are, that's a pretty decent sized battery. A lot of these smaller one cell light bulbs are usually like 300s or 400s. This is a 530, so that's nice. Now, this quadcopter is a 2S drone. What that means is, is you will actually take two of these, put them together, slide it in, plug it in, and now you're flying with double the voltage that one of these has to offer. There is two plugs right here, so it's kind of dummy proof, and it ain't gonna turn on if you only plug in one, okay? If you wanted to run just one cell, you could, but you would have to use a jumper. All right, let's open up the drone itself, and wow, that is actually really, really nice. That's pretty robust right there. We've got some Eva foam on the edges. That's nice for a nice little bumpy bump. This does come in a 4K version, which is about $280. 
This is not the 4K version. This is just the regular version. Also in the bag, you are getting some extra propellers. You're getting an extra battery strap. You've got a little driver and a little zip tie, which is really, really nice. I think I mentioned already, double sticker pack. That's nice. If you're into stickers, you want a sticker bomb, go for it. All right, last package right here is the one and only dual quad charger. So this guy right here, you plug it right into the wall and then you can charge one, two, three, and four batteries all at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and get all four in and I'm gonna plug this in now because I don't wanna just go over the drone and then not show you what it flies like. So we're gonna check this thing out and we're gonna see what it actually flies like. All right, so I am plugged up and charging. This is gonna be great. That means by the time we're done checking this out, I'll actually be able to take it to the sky for you guys. All right, so talking about the drone a little bit, let's dive into this guy so you can see what all you are looking at when you purchase this thing. So if you had the 4K version, you'd be going 4K 60 frames per second. That is super awesome. That means there's no need for a GoPro, or if you're more of a cinematic pilot, you'll be able to do that with this guy right here. Fly through the trees, get some nice uh, footage, and go ahead and post it on your YouTube channel. Motor to motor, you're looking at about 79 millimeters. It does run a 12 amp F4 all-in-one board, and it's not an F405, it is a F405. 411 which is used more in the micros other than that you've got the mpu 6000 you're running beta flight it does have beta flight osd on board your escs are 12 amp which is more than enough for a drone of this size and it's not just 12 for the whole thing it's 12 12 12 12 because all four are 12 amps you have four motors so that means although it's one board it is four escs in there now in the non 4k version which is this guy right here you do have the run cam nano 2 it is a nice little guy great picture if you have the 4k version it is the caddix loris which is a 4k 60 frames per second the propellers that it's come with are the gem fan 1636 and you do get four pairs but it's important that you know you can use any propeller of that size you do not have to stay with gem fan the motors are the jep 1102 10,000 kv and the whole drone is coming in at about 54.8 grams so that is actually quite impressive for a little guy like this. I, I, I'm digging it. I don't know what it's going to fly like. It looks like it's a little bit on the heavy side. And then we're going to stick two batteries in there. I don't know. Is it going to be a little wobbly? We'll find out. Whoops tend to do better with some weight, but not too much weight. So we're going to have to find that middle ground. Now, there was a hidden bag inside of my goggles. And this is your goggles. And let's be honest, pilots. If you have the money... And this is very, very affordable, but if you have the money, you probably should not, and you want to commit, you should probably never, ever get something like this. Now, if you're a drone pilot and you want to get your kids involved, this is great for them, or you want to get somebody else involved, or maybe send a gift, this is a perfect starter gift. But if you want to get into FPV and you are serious about it, you want to buy a quadcopter just like this. This is an amazing little drone to start with, but you want to get yourself a name brand set of goggles, some low profile, good, good goggles. And then you want to get yourself a good radio, maybe a Tyrannus or something like that, an X9D Plus. You know, the cheaper you go, the less you're going to get for your money. And that's fine. That's, that's the way the world works, right? So no surprise there. But if you're not sure if you want to get into FPV, you can't go wrong with this. Couple hundred bucks, you dive in, you feel it out. If you like it, you spend more money. That's up to you. Me personally, I don't like buying something that I'm going to grow right out of. It's completely pointless. Goggle wise, let's see what we got real quick for the people that are interested. I'm going to go ahead and power it up. All you do is hold down this button. And as you can see, we've got our screen right there. It is a very nice screen. I was actually impressed with it. And that screen is 800 by 480. You've got a 4.3 inch screen. The entire goggles aren't that big. It's pretty small. You do have a nice little face cushion right here. And it does have a 3.7, 2000 milliamp hour battery 
inside of it. So once your battery dies, unfortunately, you've got to stop flying, plug it in, let it charge, and get back in the air. You do have an SD card slot, so you can record, you can charge, and you've even got audio. That's, that's pretty impressive. You can go ahead and buy any antenna you want and then upgrade this to a little bit better antenna. You will probably get better reception with a better antenna any 5.8 antenna will do, put it on. Now this is dual antenna, so that means you're gonna get way better reception than if you had just one as to whether this is true diversity or not. I don't know, I don't think I saw it in the instructions. From what I hear, this thing comes out of the box, down to the radio, and down to the goggles. So for the true beginner, this will be nice. You just plug it in and go. All right, so we've got our goggles ready, and I've done nothing but screw on my antennas. I've got my drone ready, and I've done nothing but pull it out of the package. And for the radio, we are going to have to go ahead and open this up. Super simple. And you're going to need some AA batteries. So obviously this means that it won't be rechargeable when your double A's die. You'll need to get more, but throw some extras in your bag and have them so when they die, you're not out of luck. All right, so putting the batteries in, as you can see, was very, very simple. So now I take the small screw and I'll screw it back in. And they say this works right out of the box. We're gonna find out. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, it works right out of the box. Impressive. Uh, we've also got our charging cable and some type of AV adapter or whatever this is. So plug it in if you need it for something. I don't. Me, I'm just gonna fly. That's why I bought it, I'm gonna fly. Now, this radio right here does have a little bit of a plasticky feel to it. The gimbals feel really good. I'm not going to lie about that. They do actually feel really nice. You can twist this up and adjust your throw. Boom. See that? I just made this one longer just with a little twist. So you can adjust your height and throw if you'd like to. You've got your arm switch, uh, which we need to have in the lock position. You've got a different auxiliary if you want to hook something else up. Go ahead. You've got one, two, and three different drones that you can store on here. You're on off. You've got a bind in the back and you've got a another button. I'm not sure. You may be able to program that to something like an aux, another auxiliary switch. I don't know. Then you've got your normal, your buzz, and your crash flip. You lose this drone and cannot find it. Put it in buzzer. It'll beep. You walk, listen for the sound, find it. You're good. If you crash and you're upside down, go ahead and Put it in crash flip, which is turtle mode, and you'll be able to go ahead and flip out of that sticky situation. And for acro, horizon, or angle, very simple. Acro means that the drone becomes fully acrobatic. You can do full twists, spins, flips, tricks, whatever you want. You can do all the stuff you see all the pro pilots do. And then you've got horizon and angle. You've got a little hook loop right here for your lanyard, so you can strap it to yourself. Boom, get yourself a lanyard. And then you can just walk around with your radio hanging. Yeah. All right. So that's pretty nice. Low profile antennas so they don't got you looking silly. That's pretty nice. All right, pilots, real quick. When we open this up, you might have seen that I got some extra goodies. If you're interested, let me know. I've got an F405 HD stack and I've got an F722 HD stack. And I've also got the new 18650 ion cells. This is a 3000 milliamp hour pack and not to mention it's smaller than your normal 1300 but at more than double the freaking capacity. So let me know if you're interested in seeing some of this stuff. Go ahead and drop it down in the comments and I will make videos on this for you. All right, so I want to show you real quick how to do this. Very simple. If you don't know what you're doing, you just slide in one battery and these are fully charged. 
I'll slide in the next battery. So it's a tight fit, which is a really good thing. You do not want this shaking and bouncing around. Now for weight distribution, do not have the batteries too far to the front or back. Try to center them the best that you can, keep them even. And then you'll just simply plug these in. Now you also need to have your radio on and your goggles on so that way when this starts up, it can go ahead and connect to both of those. After you do that, all you gotta do is arm your quadcopter, boom, and make sure your throttle's down and slowly apply your throttle and begin to control from there. As a beginner, keep this in angle mode, which will be all the way towards you. And that way you don't get yourself in trouble on your first couple flights. If you're gonna fly outside, be super careful. If ever in doubt or you lose control, quickly and fastly disarm and then go walk and pick it up. Don't try to save it and make it worse and now you'll never find it. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and power these up. I just want to show you real quick that it does work and show you what it looks like. So I'm going to plug this in. You heard it start up and there you go. She's angry, but there you go. There's Drain Man. Everything's working and looking good. All right. All right. The next thing we need to do is we need to power up our radio on. Keep this in number one, but if you decide to buy more than one kit, which you actually don't have to do, don't buy more than one kit. Buy extra quadcopters and you can put up to three on here. So as you can tell, the angry beeping stopped and that's because this connected. And what I'm gonna do is just show you that it works right out of the box, which I don't know if it's even true, but let's find out. So here we go. And now my quadcopter is spinning. Right out of the box. I haven't done anything right out of the box. 